In this video, I want to show you guys how you can use AI to figure out the notes of any song out there. Now, there are a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you guys some methods that I use. If you want to visit the website that I'm using, uh, it'll be in the link in the description. And before we dive into the video, guys, if you enjoy this and you find this useful, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We post a lot of cool stuff on this channel. We post a lot of tutorials about music production, using AI to make beats and make songs. We do reactions and live streams a couple times a month um, and a whole bunch of fun stuff for uh, musicians. So if you guys found this video useful and you want to see more, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, but let's get into it. So the way I'm going to be using AI and a couple different pieces of software to figure out the notes is basically by first taking a full song, splitting it into different audio files, and then using AI and pitch uh, detection software to figure out the notes. The problem is, is that if I just loaded a song into FL Studio and, you know, tried to use autotune or something, there's a lot going on in a full song, obviously. There's going to be the drums, the bass, the singer, you know, the guitars, all this stuff. It's going to be hard for any AI tool to figure out the notes unless you split the audio file. So that's the first step here is that we're going to take a completed song. We're going to run it through la la lie and we're going to split the vocal and instrumental and maybe other different audio files, which is great that this website exists. So here's the song. This is a, a song of myself that I made a couple of years back and I want to basically figure out the notes of the uh, vocal sample in this beat. It sounds like this. So obviously within that first seven seconds, there's this kind of, you know, melodic sample, uh, these vocals that are tucked away in the background and a little bit of percussive elements. I need to figure out what those vocals are on their own. And the way I'm going to do that is to run this through Lullaby. I'm just gonna drag and drop the whole song in there and I'm gonna split the vocal from the instrumental. And that way I can work with just the vocal isolated, which will be easier for me to figure out the notes. All right, so let's preview the vocal on its own. Okay. Perfect. I can definitely work with that. I'm going to go ahead here and process the entire file and then load it into FL Studio to show you guys the next step. Okay, so now I have the vocal stem from Lullaby in FL Studio. I want to figure out the notes of that. Now, there's a couple different techniques that I'm going to do, and these techniques might vary depending on, you know, what it is you're actually trying to figure out the notes for. Um, one version I'm going to show you guys is with some paid software. Another one is with a free, um, basically, plugin within FL Studio studio that'll show you the notes. There's pros and cons to both. It just depends on what you're actually looking to do. For me right now, I'm just trying to figure out the notes of this, basically this vocal sample. And I'm going to use this plugin called Melodyne. Now this is a third party plugin. Um, I paid for it a while back and it basically kind of works like a auto tune. It's a pitch correction plugin, but what's great about it is that if you have the vocals isolated, it can detect the pitches of that vocal sample. So now that I have it on the vocal sample, all I'm gonna do is click this transfer button and then play the vocal sample and it'll figure out the notes for me. Look at that. It kind of works like an FL Studio piano roll. It'll actually figure out the notes of the sample here. And I can even make sure it's right on, <laughs> perfectly on note there. And then if I wanted to, I could go into FL Studio, say the piano roll, for example, and recreate the melody using these notes. Now I find that doing that in Melodyne method works great if you are figuring out something that has just singular notes, right? Um, let's say a synthesizer lead, vocal sample, obviously, maybe bass guitars, something that is basically played notes one at a time, not in chords. If you are looking for something with chords or just want a you know more free method to figure this out, there's a plugin within FL Studio that I use called Wave Candy. And I think that this is mostly used as like kind of just a visual spectrum for a lot of different things. Within a few steps, I'll show you guys how to basically turn this into a graph that will detect the pitch regions and show you which notes they are. Sounds pretty intense, but let me show you how. So all I do is I click on this spectrum setting. I turn the max res to turn it up to maybe this one here and turn up the scale. And now when I enlarge it, you'll see that all of a sudden it becomes sort of like a piano roll within FL Studio. And it'll show me all the notes all the way from, you know, the lowest octave basically to one of the highest ones. And I can just enlarge the window here. And now when I play the a sample you'll see what it comes up with 
Okay. Then I can freeze it and it kind of projects this heat map where it'll show me, you know, obviously the more bright yellow colors are the notes that it suggests. And it actually is giving the same ones that Melodyne said. Now I find that this Melodyne method works especially good if you're doing things with like, if you're doing things with different chords too. Like if I went back to La 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 and I separated say the piano. So now I have this piano sample and there's a little bit more notes playing and you'll see what happens when I play sort of a more complex or more in-depth um, piece of recording. It kind of gives me a more accurate view of all the notes that make up a chord. So this wave candy method is more useful if you're doing something that, you know, is playing a chord or different notes stacked together. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I know I use this a lot when I'm working on either remakes or remixes or I'm working with artists and we're just basically trying to figure out, you know, what notes they're singing or what notes they should be singing. But definitely the first step into this is just having a tool like Lullaby that will split the audio files easily. So so that way you can basically have the stem files to make modifications like this, even if it's not a song that you produced yourself. So if you guys want to check out our website, that's la la la. I will leave the link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video.